Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Kiara and today I'm giving you guys a makeup video. Like it's not even a tutorial, it's just a makeup video. This is so bothering me, like, jeez, <laughs> do I ever iron my clothes? Always oh, got to moisturise. Why is my face so red on camera? Like I swear it's not this red in how is that possible? Oh, I got a new primer. It is the number seven airbrush away primer, which I haven't tried before. I don't tend to use primers. I just thought, why not pop it in this video? Ah, it's squeezing all over the place. How do you use this? Ah. Smooth over moisturized skin and allow to absorb. Okay, I'm only gonna put it like where I need help with my foundation. Oh no, help. Oh, that feels nice. Feels very like silky and smooth on the skin. Oh, we're gonna put a little bit here as well. After watching this back, I'm just like, how could you not expect your face to be red after rubbing it like this? <laughs> like seriously. Oh, we're just gonna put a little bit all over the face. My skin feels so smooth now. It's that's crazy. Don't think it's done much for the pores. I'm gonna take a sponge. So, it has been a while since I've uploaded anything. I don't know, I've just been busy, but seriously, um, that's way too much foundation. Oh, that's going to be way too much. So yeah, I haven't uploaded in a bit. Last time I uploaded with this, bleh, bleh, can't speak, was with my cousin and I really enjoyed that video. You know, my channel kind of is a makeup channel, except that I don't have any will to make like beauty videos like I want to do something different you know except I don't know what don't get me wrong like I love putting on makeup but they're not the most enjoyable videos like just watching someone put on makeup I don't know if you think I'm wrong and do enjoy watching people put on makeup then let me know and I'll put some up but I don't know I want to do something different I want to step outside of like my makeup box. At the start of this summer I was like okay you're gonna upload a video every week and you're gonna pre-film videos for when you go off to uni um, which I'm gonna speak about in a, a totally separate video um, exactly what I'm doing next year because um, I'm studying in France and it's completely different to the UK and I thought I would just give a little video explaining about why I'm gonna be gone for eight months um, but yeah, that will be coming soon and I was gonna pre-film videos like once every month and I haven't even been able to Ooh, no, my son. <laughs> And I haven't even been able to upload like once a week in the summer, let alone pre-film anything Not gonna lie, my foundation has never looked this good on my skin Been having a pretty good skin week, like my skin is not breaking out that much this week And it's sitting really smoothly on my forehead which is not normal. It's sitting so much smoother on my nose, so I'm gonna have to give that credit to the primer, so very much like this. Again, I'm gonna ask again, if you guys would like to see any particular kind of videos, please let me know because like anything, it could be literally anything. Doesn't have to be makeup related. I had a few exciting videos planned, not gonna lie. One was creating my own swimsuit, like a, a nice swimsuit, you know, not like two pieces of fabric roughly sewed together. Like my cami thing, which was a complete disaster, but it's still my most popular video today. So yeah, I wanted to make my own swimsuit and I'd cut all the fabric and everything and made my own design and stuff. And I was gonna use my grandmother's sewing machine to sew it all together. And I was halfway through making the top and the machine just like broke. So um, it's currently getting repaired now, but I don't think she's gonna let me use it ever again. So that idea has kind of gone to- It was gonna be a nice video. Anyways, you might be asking, what have I been doing during my mini hiatus that wasn't even an official hiatus, it was just me being absent, which happens very, very often, which is sad. Where I live, there is a week long street party. So I went to that which was very, very fun. I went every day except on the Sunday, so it lasts from Wednesday to Sunday. 
I went every day except Sunday because on Saturday someone rammed into the side of my knee and I fell and it hurt so much. And I'm still kind of having problems with my knee. Like if I walk on it at a certain angle, like a weird angle, it will just like flare up and there'll be pain. I don't know if I've still got the bruise. Mind you, this was, what was it? Two, three weeks ago. So yeah, that was great. And I couldn't walk for a good day or two. Like you'd see me stumble around the house. And then I went camping with my friends, which was very, very fun. And we went for what, four days and three nights. And lucky for us, we had a friend who worked there. So we got discounts and we had our tents next to his sort of like mini bungalow. And he got us discounts on bike rentals, on surfing. We got a free surf session, which was absolutely great. Like surfing really is expensive. And the plus was that the guy who worked there kind of was my crush. I look like a crackhead, like I swear. Is it crackhead or like someone who does cocaine or meth? I literally have zero idea. Oh my God. I'm gonna brush this away, it kind of scares me. My foundation has never looked this good. Yesterday I binged watched three episodes of the Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson kind of collab video, like the truth about Jeffree Star. And I have always liked Jeffree, like even when all his scandals and all came out, it obviously shocked me. Like Jeffree being the famous person that he is, um, things that he said before are gonna come up. But if I ever said horrible things, like they weren't filmed, they're not gonna be brought up because I'm not famous. And I'm so glad that I'm not. Like I can't exactly remember horrible things that I've said, but we've all said horrible things. Whether you want to admit it or not, we all have at one point or another, either just you saying it or saying it under peer pressure, like your friends are saying mean things and you feel obliged to sort of join in and you know even through that I still like Jeffrey you know like I enjoyed his videos I enjoyed his content very much I like his personality I love his whole sarcastic like brash personality like that's something I really do like in people because I feel like I'm kind of the same like I don't portray it necessarily in my videos I am quite a brash harsh person like I say it how it is and I feel like he's like that too I may be completely wrong but so yeah I watched those I knew he had like several businesses on the side but I didn't like realize the extent and how big his other businesses were and I think it really opened up my eyes and made me realize that I can do so much with my life like see how he came from so little to what he has now I'm not gonna lie it kind of inspired me and um you know Jeffrey's 30 like I'm 17 I'm not saying that I'm gonna be anywhere near him anytime soon but it definitely brought out my ambitious side to see also him like with his music career and then see how it all fell to pieces, which I'm actually quite sad for because I was listening to a couple of his songs and I don't know, they just remind me of like the 2010, 2009 music I used to listen to. And although I'd never heard of him before, I listened to his music and I'm just like, Ooh, this is my jam. This is my jam. And where was I going with this? Yeah, to see how he was working on something so hard and then it all fell to pieces, but he was still able to pick himself up and throw himself into something else and that's something else succeeding. It's a reminder that you can fail but it doesn't mean you won't succeed afterwards. And why am I crying? <laughs> like for me, everything seems final. Like if you fail at this, you're gonna fail at that and you're never gonna do anything with your life or you know, things like that. That's how I think for me, like for my life. and. To see, you know what, if something does fail, you still can succeed and succeed a million times better at something else. It kind of like opened my eyes, like you can fail at something, but it doesn't mean you'll fail for the rest of your life. Why am I crying? Speaking of failing, <laughs> I failed my driver's license the other day, which was great. So I passed it in France and I don't know if it's the same in America, but or in the UK they'll ask you to go to a certain place and you'll have to follow the signs to get there. Well, I got lost. Well, I didn't get lost, but I took the wrong direction twice and that's why I didn't get it. Cry if you need to. Like my driving was fine. Like I didn't run into anyone. I didn't run any red lights. I didn't, 
I stopped at the stops, um, but yeah, I, I did wrong direction twice, and that's why I didn't get my driver's license, which I find is completely stupid, like, if I can drive, I can drive, you know, like, when I'm going to be driving and trying to find a place that I don't know, I'm going to have my GPS, um, so yeah, that, that's all. That's, that's me just kind of like ranting. Now the reason why I haven't been uploading YouTube videos is because I left my blending brush, like my only blending brush, at my friend's house. And so my blending has gone to <laughs> while I don't have a blending brush. I have to make do with other brushes. I hope one day I'm gonna find, you know, some kind of success. I've always had a drive for success because of my dad, like he at one time was very successful and you know, times change, industries change and he's not as successful anymore and he still works so hard. What is this brow? And yeah, he still works so hard, too hard even. He's the reason like I work so hard because I want to make him proud. This is not the time to cry. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for the usual brown look because that's what I have sort of mastered. Also coming back to the Jeffree Star videos, like Shane cracks me up throughout all of them. I haven't watched the fourth and the fifth yet and I know it gets kind of like much deeper than the first three. So I'm gonna watch those this afternoon. I am back and for some reason I have a braid. My memory card was full. So it just like cut out and it took forever to delete, well to import everything I had on it and then delete everything. And then here I am. So I've just finished the eyeshadow. I haven't put highlighter on, I thought we would do that together. Where's my highlighter, for God's sake. Here we go. probably can't see it. I'm not in direct light and I feel like the light has changed so much from when I first started filming. I swear, I've not been filming for a good half an hour now. And then I am gonna put on some mascara and maybe some lashes. You know what, I'm gonna try and probably ruin everything. That's way too pink. What do you think about my kids from Sarah What do you mean? I like that brown, it's lovely. I always give you browns and then you're like, I know I don't want browns. You know you only put it there and there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no false eyelashes because I tried. I failed and <laughs> we're not trying again. I may put on a little bit of gloss. I'm gonna use a little bit of setting spray because I actually want this makeup to last. So, this is the look. Atrocious blending, <laughs> I warned you. So yeah, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah, that is it. <laughs>